candy plug, and we were trying, mm -hmm. and we were like, oh my god, we had these old dried up marshmallows, and we're mm -hmm. trying to. You know, the first one went fine. The second one, she was bumping on the thing. We kept trying. She did get out, and so we have no idea. I think she went into, fell into yeah. the thing because we were right there inside the hive. But so, let's say she got away. How long till the bees that are in there fly away or die? What happens to them? They'll just start dying because, or they'll get a laying worker, and then you'll see a lot of drone, drone brood. Okay. There'll so be nothing but deep drone drone cell uh, in every frame. You won't see any flat brood. I mean, we looked. We haven't found the queen yet, so, yeah. but we still don't and you know. You may never find her. Right. How long ago? I may never. How long? They are elusive. They then really are very elusive. Mm -hmm. You'll find mm -hmm. her. You know, but you, would, you will find evidence of her before you will find her. Her, that's right. And right. like you saw how big those, those drone cells were different than the other one? You'll, if you see a lot of those and you've got a laying worker, and if if you find that out, Tina has extra queens. Okay. They, they come with a percentage of them. There's, I think she's only got like two left. So if you do lose your queen, let her know right away so you can get one. They are long. They are so yeah. big. They're well, yeah, we saw it in the other one, kind of black looking and yeah. real long. We saw it in our other hive, the one that she I got from hiding from you. Yeah, this one I'm just a little bit worried about because we're not just not sure. But we didn't see any in either hive. Okay, so <laughs> maybe the question is then how soon before you should see eggs? Because if she's there, there'll be eggs, right? Right on you is, no, nope, I thought that was a queen on you, but it's, thought, she's yeah. dragging something. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm staring at. Is the, is that bee on you yeah. right there? Yeah, just oh, reach. She she's got something behind her, but I can't tell what it is. I think she's, she's yeah, dying. but I thought it was a queen because <laughs> she, she was that much longer, and that's the yeah. first, and that's what catches your oh, eye. Yeah. Once oh, you've seen her, your eye will just naturally attune to it, and you will be able to see her, and yeah. nobody around you'll be able to see yeah. if, if they're not used to seeing right. that abdomen, and and it just caught my eye just because of the size. Yeah. But it was something she was dragging. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. the we abdomen. definitely saw the queen in the one high, but we still don't have eggs in that one either. But, and, and after a week, you should start seeing eggs. Okay, it's been a week. Yeah, and just... Just an hour. Yeah, just just keep looking and... We've already gone through We've done that. Okay. <laughs> I was going, God, that was easy. That's why I really am anxious to see eggs, so I can make sure that I know... Yeah, it just looks like a little grain of rice. Yeah. Okay. And, and another thing is listen to the bees. You, you hear this, this kind of... I mean, they're a little upset. But if they don't have a queen, it's almost like a... It's called a keen, yes. keening. They, they will make a high-pitched whine. And if you go out to your hive in the evening, you can hear the keen if they if they don't have a queen. You'll know it immediately as soon as you hear it. Yes. Okay. It's just a high-pitched whine. That ventilation hole. So maybe had a critter in there. No, okay. it was in there except for the grass. And if they didn't gotcha. want it, they would push it out. Yeah. You know, but I didn't want the breed chipper to get cold. Gotcha. Do you use this wax that you're, you're taking off or you just throw it away? Yeah, no, I've got candles. I make candles oh, cool. and... I've got a solar wax melter, that black box that's sitting over there. Yeah. So the, the frames that have big holes in them and things, I'll melt the, cam the wax down, and I make candles, and, and I make cream for my face oh, and cool. stuff. And, cool. Yeah. Chapstick? Yeah. Well, I've never, I didn't do a chapstick because I just do it in a jar and I just go. Oh, <laughs> so. I like Carmex. Yeah, right. yeah, kind of like that. And you see how both the ladies have gloves on, yeah. and yeah. and and it's sort of unhandy. And yeah. once you get used to to the bees, and you know what they are, if if they're if they're do these guys are really docile. Yeah. You you just watch where you put your fingers and don't use gloves, and you can feel things so much better, and you're yeah, less yeah, likely to drop a frame. Yeah, I'm gonna just set that back in. Yeah. Please. yeah, but you, you know yeah. Now the reason I wear gloves is because for some reason they go right. after my hands. They just, the, I'll walk over here and they'll go boom and they stay. And it could be a cream that you use. There's a number of things that can yeah. cause that. But it, yeah. Is that a drone? Yeah. Arthritis, they go after yeah. my knuckles. Yeah, this but must be a drone, huh? uh, uh, nitrile gloves 
right there. Okay. Yeah. Are sting I resistant. They are not that's sting nice. proof. But yeah. They, yeah. The we the other side. Well, yeah, that's but you can get stick. the full nitro gloves yeah. that, oh, okay. that oh. are that surgeons yeah. use them because they're supposed to be stick proof. Uh, and we know there's just not such a thing, but there's oh, wait, stick hurt? resistant. Wait, wait, is that hurt? Just in the top of your frame, Carol? Oh, yeah. No, that's a drum. Oh, no. Wow. That looks almost like a... I don't know. No, that's... No, it's a black one. It's not her. Uh, you got to remember, those of you that got packaged bees, your bees are not what they're going to look like after 35, 40 days. Your queen is, is specific, but they shake out every bee, every kind of bee there is. To send in the packages. More drone sales too? Yeah. That's okay. Yes. No, clean this one. No. Okay, we haven't done these three right here, right? Now she's got a pattern in there, but I'm not seeing fresh eggs. So And if we don't get to split today, it's not yeah. a, it's not a lost cause because she's gone through her hive and cleaned yeah. it up, and and this now you see exactly what has to be done. And this this makes me feel better because and they'll clean up all these that I'm messing up here. They'll clean it up and they'll start over. Um, they're they're not as they're not ready to swarm. I found that out today. So. See an abundance of eggs, I wouldn't split. Yeah, but but does that mean that she is well, she's productive? But how old is this hive? This one is this one was a split off of this one last year. Okay. No, two. This is its second year. So the queen so, should have been that old. Right? No. No. How often do you change the queens first? Uh, I never do. Okay. I. I'm sort of a natural beekeeper. I I don't treat for mites other than going small cell. I, I try to make it back as close to nature as I can, which small cell is. Small cell is is natural. Is, and that's mite that will. It's smaller. Deter. The bees are smaller, so the carapace of the bee does not allow the mite to bite and draw the the, the blood of the bee that it has to to survive. Uh, they will ride the drones, so it's a lot easier to control the mites by killing drones. Uh -huh. Killing cap drone cells. Yeah, and the drones are bigger cell than, the, than the, the normal cell, or even the ones that we use here. So it gives the room for the, the mites to lay their eggs in there. And they, they, they uh, what do you call it, their gestation period is longer, so, which is exactly what the, the mites are. So they like the drone cells because their eggs can hatch. Yeah. So. What were you trying to do with this one? I want to move that one over to here. Nice, nice pattern. Nice, nice pattern. It really is. Yeah. yeah. She's getting to lift. Okay. Now. okay. now, now. We like that one. What's in this one? This one we yeah. haven't moved yet, and this one we haven't moved yet. I'm glad that wind went down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that one's mainly nectar. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One more hand. Six hands. Yeah. And that's why I drag those boxes usually out with me. I usually have an empty one. 
like that one there. But we don't. Need to, we, we don't. Yeah. So that when I'm alone, I, I use a deep body okay. to put everything in. Look at these. Now that's larger than those are. That's still drone that's cell. Still that's all drone. That's yeah. drone. Okay. Yeah. And that's normal. Yeah. Okay. I'm but I'm going to take clean. these off here. Take that one off in the corner there, if you would. I'll hold on to that. Right here. Yeah. And she's at this point probably headed down into the corners here, hiding from me, because she knows what I'm doing. I'm looking for her. Now this box here was empty two weeks ago. Because this was this was my third one up. No, so she's been doing pretty good. She's doing really well. way over there. Pick one with 